Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Some objects seem complicated to draw, but that's because your mind tells you so. You can trick your mind. If you look at the shapes around the subject you want to draw, you'll be able to outline the shape with more confidence. I'll show you with this pair of scissors. Now, where do you start? Well, let's first look at the negative shape. Highlighted in blue here. Now let's filter out all those distracting details. Just try to ignore them. Now, focus on the blue space. With my eyes, I slowly follow the contours of the shape. And I follow with my pen. So actually, I am looking more at my subject than I am looking at my paper. I'm looking at the top part of the negative shape. Then at the next large negative shape, at the right side. I'm looking at the angle of the shape as well, so I know that the next line won't be crooked, but will connect once I start filling in details. Keep looking back and forth, from the subject to your line. Back and forth, back and forth. Again here, I make sure that my line will end here, so it makes sense later for the blade of the scissors to connect to the handle. This way I work my way around the shape until I have the contour done. Now that the contour is done, start filling the shape. Keep looking at your subject all the time and keep following your eyes with your pen. Trust your eyes, take your time. Only when you slow down you will be able to draw what you see instead of drawing what you think you know or what you think you see. When all details are added, with hatching lines you can add shadows and those will give your subject a sense of depth. Don't forget the drop shadow. Without it, the subject will be floating rather than sitting on a surface. This technique takes a bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see how useful it is. And if you're ready for more, sign up for a class at sketchbookschool.com. Mm -hmm.